Hi guys, this is SMDB and I'm Amit. Welcome back to another episode of Highs and Lows. In this video, I'll be talking about five positive stories while we'll check on five negative stuffs that has happened throughout the last 15 days all over the world. As balance is important, mate. That's right. And for our first good news, we are going towards Gujarat. Why? A 14-year-old boy, Harshvardhan Zala, has just got a 5 crore rupees contract from the Gujarat state government for the drones project made by him. But hold on a minute, there's almost nothing to get excited, as drones are banned in India. Yes, you heard me right. You can even end up in jail if you try to fly one. Yeah, that's a disgrace. But this time actually, the drones are made for detecting landmines and these drones can even send up waves up to 8 meters where it's 2 feet above the ground level. And these drones are actually intended to carry bombs to destroy landmines. Now while the project comes to life, let us shift our eyes towards Afghanistan, where militants loyal to ISIS set 60 residential houses on fire in the court district of Nangarhar province. Although, it will perhaps not shock you guys that much, because given the reputation of ISIS, it's like a cakewalk for them. But to some relief, at least locals vacated their houses before the attack and there was no reports of any casualties. And while ISIS tried to give us the most explosive news last year, it actually fell behind tech giant Samsung. You know what I mean. All the missiles, Note 7, explosions. And to do away with all these explosions and stuff, Stanford University researchers have actually created a lithium-ion battery with built-in fire extinguishing chemical named triphenyl phosphate directly linked to the batteries so that if the batteries reach up to the temperature of 150 degrees Celsius, it will eventually shut down the whole phone in 0.4 seconds. Oh, like that. Okay, that's fast. But as much we hope to be safe from battery explosions, we can never be safe. Because Nigerian jets can always accidentally bomb us, like literally anytime. And they have proved this already. A Nigerian military jet mistakenly bombed a refugee camp on Tuesday, killing over 100 civilians. The bombing mission was actually aimed at hitting targets linked to Islamist militant group Boko Haram, but it ended up killing innocent humans and affecting staffs of International Committee of Red Cross. Just amazing. Yeah, I mean now, if they take part in Olympic shooting game, the judges and other contestants will just run away for their life and they will automatically win the gold medal. And when we are talking about gold, we cannot forget the golden boy of this week, Atif Aslam. He actually stopped his concert midway in Karachi to reprimand men who were teasing a girl in that concert. He only resumed the show after securing safety for all the girls in that concert. What a man. Mm. But the group of men in ISIS were nothing near to sober as they destroyed a part of the Roman theatre in the ancient city of Palmyra. They held the site and nearby city for almost 10 months. A group of four pillared structures, which were mainly modern replicas, has also been ruined. Also, the Temple of Bel, which was the great sanctuary of the Palmyrian gods, and one of the most important religious buildings of the 1st century AD in the East had been destroyed. Shocker, and another shocker has happened in Gambia, where their president, well, their ex-president, Yahya Jameh has finally, finally announced his stepping down and leaving the country after much protest 
Adama Baro, Jamesh's elected successor, has announced this via his Twitter handle. I mean, finally, Jamesh has recognized that he is not the president anymore. Now, in the meantime, DRDO India couldn't sign in to their official Facebook page and they very wisely took it to Twitter to get attention from Facebook. The tweet looked like this. Really? Look, when you are the organization responsible for the developing weapon system and cutting-edge defense technology for a country's armed forces, you are very likely to have quite a few tech-savvy people out there. I mean, what's going on there, man? Crazy world, huh? And in this world, you are not safe if you are a drug lord. Well, apparently. As the founder of Sinaloa Drug Cardo, the famous or infamous Mexican drug lord Joaquin El Chapo Guzman has been extradited to the US. FIY Guzman was captured for the third time after breaking the high security prisons twice. And for the final negative segment, we are actually not giving you one. Rather, if you really want to feel low, just know that Donald Trump has become the 45th president of America. And if you are still not done, just go and watch his inaugural speech. That would do, mate. So that's it, friends. Like the video if you liked it, dislike if it wasn't that great. And head over to the comment section if you think we have missed some incident that should have been featured in this video. And get subscribed and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. See you soon, guys. Peace.